<laughs> y'all clapping loud like y'all gonna be on camera. Shit. They clapping for a sad car. Yay! Damn, this expo is something else, man. Black folk from all over come. Yes. White folk gonna be ready for that shit. God damn. I knew we had a lot, but Jesus. This is ridiculous. Man, I'm telling you, I'm glad to be back, man. I'd be nervous flying since September 11th. You ever go to the airport and the motherfucker's checking you? Look like the very motherfucker you need to be checking your... <laughs> Let me see your ID, motherfucker. Let me see your ID. Fuck that shit. I was on the plane. They keep the dude from the Middle East right off the plane. I thought, man, I'm a black man. That's racial profiling. But I sure hit the button on his ass. Please. Go back there and check out Muhammad. Fuck that shit. He was crying and praying, and that ain't never good. Fuck. Sometimes it ain't racial profiling. Sometimes it's damn fine police work. Good job, officer. I was suspicious my goddamn self. Because I don't trust a motherfucker wear clothes you can't find at the mall. Fuck you, then. They don't sell that shit at the Gap. Your ass is a scary. Now, every time somebody get up and go to the bathroom, I get up right with them. Where you going? Leave the door open. Strike a match. We all family. Fuck that, man. See, that shit happened on United and American Airlines. It never would happen on Southwest Airlines. All them black people with $27 tickets to Detroit. I got a knife, motherfucker. I got a knife. Girl, you got your knife. I got my knife. Black folk would have landed that fucking plane. We might would have needed stitches, but we'd have landed that goddamn plane. You all right? He got me right here, player. Yeah, have me right here. Give me my Kaiser car. They can't never find Bin Laden, but every time I see the motherfucker, he on CNN. Ain't that a bitch? Why don't y'all just follow CNN around this motherfucker? We can't find him. He's right there on Channel 12. The motherfucker right there. This motherfucker got more videos out than Tupac. Don't he? I'm like, boy, dead motherfucker, you sure work a lot of shit. I don't know what's going on with him, man. And that shit, that shit brought the country together. September 11th, black folk and white folk getting along like never before. Because, you know... We done had our problems before, but we be damned if somebody new gonna come in. Fuck that shit. <laughs> These is our white folk. Y'all leave them alone now. Shit. It's good for black folk because now we finally got somebody we can look down on. Look at them. They fucking the neighborhood up. Shit. How many of them is it? Fuck. <laughs> now, I don't like George Bush. I don't think he's fixing the country. I think he's fucking it up, but I don't like the motherfucker. But if you want some shit blew up, that's the motherfucker for it. He gave everybody a death penalty who needs the governor of Texas. He gave a woman a death penalty. She was a born-again Christian. But I know Jesus. <laughs> well, bitch, tell him we said hi, yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to be talking to the Lord as soon as this shot takes over. And that's fucking Dick Cheney. This motherfucker have a heart attack every five minutes. Son. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh, shit. How the fuck did you pass the physical? Wasn't it a doctor on work that day? Man, to me, they waited too long to get the motherfuckers. They did this shit on September 11th. We should have been in there September 11th and a half. I'm not bullshitting, because I started to walk on the 7-Eleven and slap the shit out of the motherfucker. Give me a twerky, you son of a bitch. And five hours on a lot of them. I'll be damned y'all gonna fuck up my plan. Fuck that shit. You ever notice it? No matter what the fuck happens, black folks don't never be shocked. I don't get. We be sad and hurt. September 11 made us mad. The motherfucker. We ain't never shocked. Cause when you've been black in America, can't shit shock you. It can't. We just get ready for the worst. All the guys, a spaceship can land in this motherfucker right now. Right for one of black folk. I knew it. I knew it. Cause my knee was hurting. And my knee always hurt with some bullshit by the happen. Matter of fact, what's the day? The 20th? I'm going to play that number. Fuck this shit. If I combinate and box them, I might fuck around and make some money. Shit. You seen Afghanistan on the news? That's a raggedy motherfucker. Just, just a big-ass pile of rocks. I don't know what the fuck is the Taliban fighting to say. You ever notice the bomb we drop will cost more than the shit is blowing up? A million-dollar bomb to blow up a $3.10. Fuck you. Shit. You could take over Afghanistan with a stick. It's my shit now. I'm the king of Afghanistan. <laughs> this is a big ass pile of rocks. Them motherfuckers don't even know we are bombing. We were bombed last night. How do you know? That rock was over there yesterday, wasn't it? 
People call them motherfuckers cowards. Now, they crazy in the motherfucker. They ain't cowards. Because they will die for what the fuck they believe in. They will ride or die for real. They put that shit, they put their belief ahead of their life. Here, we believe, but <laughs> not that goddamn much shit. If you're going to a church where they tell you got to kill yourself, you're going to the wrong motherfucking shit. I'm about to run down here to Mount Calvary, see what they talking about. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Give me my ten dollars back. <laughs> supposed to be a building fund, not a blow up the building fund. I don't know. Before September 11th, we was worried about some different shit. Like white folks was down in Florida getting ate up by sharks, which I don't understand. Because black folks, we won't even get the water at a pool party. Fuck that shit. There's too much shit in the water that can hurt you. Don't splash that shit on me, punk. That's water. White folks getting the water, they don't give a fuck what's happening. It could be a sign to say shark. Don't worry about the shark. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. <laughs> if it swims too close, just punch it in the nose. What type of shit is that? See, that's what it is, man. One dude got in the water with his nephew shark, but his nephew leg off. This motherfucker jumped in the water, killed the shark, sold the leg back on white folk. Y'all, some bad motherfuckers. Because I'm not going through all that bullshit for my nephew. Fuck you. I, I'd have been on the phone with my brother. Something bad has happened down here now. You need to put that beard down and come see about the sun. It's fucked up out here. I got three kids. I love them all. If a man get one of my kids, I'm going all out. But if a shark get one of my kids, that's pretty much God's will right there and shit. I can't do nothing for you, son. <laughs> if he swim too close, just punch him in the nose. Tell him Charlie sent you. That's all I can do. Fuck that. Huh? Everything happened down in Florida. Florida done done some bullshit to somebody because all the bullshit happened down in Florida. Like four dudes from the Middle East go down to Florida, want to learn how to fly, but don't nobody want to learn how to land or take off. <laughs> and that ain't suspicious to no goddamn body. We would like to learn how to fly. <laughs> we don't need to teach you how to take off. We don't need to learn how to take off. Or you gonna need to learn how to land. We don't need to learn how to land. Florida be fucking up that Elian Gonzalez shit happened down in Florida, man. I was with this little fucker at first, but that shit went on too goddamn long. I thought the little bastard had his own TV show. That, that shit ran longer than Roots, didn't it? I, I ain't never been to Cuba, but I'm assuming it's a pretty fucked up place. If you're trying to float over here on the bike tire, that's all I know, shit. Little fucker lucky it wasn't no Firestone tire, huh? <laughs> That'd have been a short trip. I I got tired of seeing Janet Reno ugly ass on TV. Ooh, that's an ugly motherfucker, there, ain't it? I thought it was Nick Nolte, didn't y'all? Why is the dude from 48 Hours fucking with this little boy? See, everybody talk all that shit, but Bill Clinton was my favorite fucking president. That's my goddamn president. As far as I'm concerned, he's still fucking... He's the closest to a black president we gonna ever get. I don't say that because he played a horn. I say that because Bill got impeached. That means five. And came back to work the next day like wasn't shit wrong, huh? That's some black folks shit for you. <laughs> hey Bill, you in peace? I bet I be there tomorrow. I bet I be there tomorrow. I bet y'all better have my goddamn check too. Shit. I'm in peace. My foot up somebody's ass. Don't play with my money like that. They try to blame everything on this motherfucker. September 11th happened because of Bill Clinton. That's bullshit. September 11th happened because the FBI was too busy investigating who he was fucking instead of worrying about who was fucking over us. That's what the fuck happened. That's what the fuck happened. I don't like the Republicans. I ain't never... I, I damn near voted for Bob Dole until he fell off that goddamn stage. How you gonna balance the budget you can't balance the goddamn self? Get your old ass down for you be to hit your fucking head, you son of a bitch. I knew it was going to be a rough ass year. Cause remember them Chinese people took our spy plane? George Bush got on TV. Don't worry about the crew. They're not hostages. They're detainees. I ain't never been to college, but I've been to jail, and I know when you detained, you can't just come right home. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Them Chinese people can't be hard to negotiate with. You ever try to get an extra pack of soy sauce on the one of them motherfuckers? That's a negotiation for your ass, eh? And everybody go, that's racist. God damn it, that ain't racist. That's American. Ain't nothing more American than racism. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Baseball, hot dog, apple pie, and slipping in the word nigga every now and then. That's the America I know, God damn it. On bullshit, a lot of shit going on seems fucked up to me. I got some shit would need to be said. Like this Enron and WorldCom shit. These motherfuckers have sold billions of dollars, and one of them motherfuckers went to jail? Ain't that a bitch? 
Everybody wants justice, but only when it's just us, goddammit, don't know. Don't nobody want to spread it around. If any black man in here rob a bank, you can get $3.50. You're going to spend the rest of your fucking life in jail. These sons of bitches done sold billions of dollars and not one motherfucker going to jail? Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that something? And now they're trying to lock up Martha Stewart. Ain't that? Good? So fuck this bitch, dude. Now we're going to know what kind of flowers are playing in the spring. Ain't that? These Catholic priests doing a lot of bullshit too. They get away with the child. Everybody get tight when you start talking about that. Let me tell you something. When you fuck a little child, you are no longer a priest. You're a dirty motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what kind of title you got on. Dirty sons of bitches. They need to take their ass to jail. They done fucked up the entire meaning of Palm Sunday. Dirty sons of bitches. You'll never get my kids on church on the ass Wednesday. I bet you that. Fuck you. Molesting kids like that. Who the fuck they think they are? R. Kelly? What type of shit is that? Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Say what you want to. R. Kelly caught 21 counts. He got 21 counts. If he was a Catholic priest, they'd have just reassigned his ass to another record label. You can go to anywhere but Virgin Records. They can't leave you over there. Some of the victims get on my goddamn nerves. I was molested till I was 37. No, motherfucker, you just like dick. That's your goddamn problem. Shit, yeah, at a certain point, can't you say, look here, Rev, I ain't gonna be able to make it tonight, you know. That little altar boy outfit don't even fit no more. That ain't molesting, that's role playing. That's the fuck that is. Shit. I got some shit would need to be said. Like this girl down in, in Houston gonna kill all five of her kids and this hooker didn't get the death penalty. If that tribe of bitch don't get the death penalty, don't nobody deserve the fucking death penalty. Kill all of five of her kids. Cause she got the blues. Ain't that a bitch? You think you're the first motherfucker with kids down on that goddamn nerve? My mama used to say she was gonna kill us every day, but she didn't. She took a nap. Lord, if I don't lay down, I'm going to kill one of you motherfuckers. Jesus, please help me lay down. Or I'll tear one of these sons of bitches up. I'm so sick of you. Clean it up, you little fucker. Huh. Mama's mad. It ain't just white folk, black folk doing some crazy shit, too. Like this simple motherfucker down in Georgia got the crematorium, but ain't burn up one motherfucker. Just... Just sprinkling bodies in the woods. There you go. Talk about he can't burn nobody up because his pilot light was out. Ain't that a bitch? Well, get you a George Foreman grill and fry some of these motherfuckers up. You know, set it and forget it, goddammit. I'm sick of a lot of bullshit. Like these kids getting away with all this bullshit. Let me tell you something. Your kids ain't your friends. Your kids are your kids. Your friends are your friends. The Bible says, spare the rise, spoil the child. You know what that means? Fuck them up. That's what it means. Knock the shit out of them every now and again. I ain't talking about it every day, but that's, they be trying to talk to motherfuckers. Wait a minute, Johnny. What happened? On oh, time out. That shit don't work. Black kids start time out with how long your ass was knocked out. How come he laying down there? <laughs> he on time out. When he gonna wake up when he got some goddamn sense? Now wake your ass up and run to the store, give me 50 cents worth of smoke neck bones <laughs> and some loose cigarettes. We used to get the shit knocked out of them. Your mom would call them, I'm beating your ass as soon as I get home. You go home and start cleaning the whole house up. <laughs> you don't get home till 6 o'clock, your whole day fucked up. You, you can't even play. Catch the ball, fuck that ball, man. <laughs> I'ma die at 6 o'clock. You go home, try to go to bed early. Ooh, it's 5.45. I always get sleepy at 5.45. These kids, I'm jealous of my kids. These kids got it better than we ever had. It. Got their own fucking room. They got their own fucking room. I'm 38 years old. I still ain't got my own goddamn room. My wife in my fucking room all the time. Why don't you go down the hall or something? Shit. We was growing up, nobody had their own room. Remember that black folk used to put so many bunk beds in the room? Looked like the county jail, didn't it? Hey man, how long you got? I'm three, I got 15 more years. Phone call for bed, phone call for bed, phone 
I remember you couldn't even walk into the room when grown folk was talking. Remember that shit? They'd tear your ass quick. Shut your ass up. It's grown folk in here talking. I just wanted to let you grown folk know the house on fire. Hope y'all in here talking about how to drop and roll. This motherfucker's going down. Look here, I'm going to be in the, fire, in the front yard not saying a goddamn thing to the fire department. What happened, little boy? I can't talk to you. You grown, ain't you? Smell the smoke. Somebody done fucked up in there. You couldn't walk in the room when they were talking, but they'd damn still wake your ass up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Then I had one of their car parties. Y'all come on in the kitchen, show mama how y'all kids do the robot. I gotta go to school to lie. These kids don't learn a goddamn thing because the school system don't fucking try. Now when they can't learn, they make excuses. Oh, he can't learn because he has a learning disability, ADD or dyslexia. We was growing up, you couldn't learn, you were just stupid. Remember that shit? They tell your mama at the PTA meeting, what's wrong with my son? Your son's done with a motherfucker this year. We don't even know why he keeps coming. I knew I was stupid because I went to the little school in the back of the real school. <laughs> Had the chain link fence around me. Go at 10, get out of 12. All the students had a big head and little legs. You motherfuckers is retarded. I used to have to cheat just to get a D. Ain't that a bitch? I would cheat out the smartest dude in school paper. You wrong on this one. I'm going on my own on this one right here. Get to catch me walking through the board and show us how you got that answer. I walk up and draw a picture of me looking at another motherfucker picture. Here go me, here go him, and here go you. And then here go you sending me to the principal office. And here go me getting an ass whooping by my daddy when I get home. Here go me calling the police on my daddy. And here go me not having nowhere to live. See, see what a fucked up picture you done painted for us? Now, my, anybody that got, like me got a little boy who you pretty sure is retarded, but you don't get him tested because you don't want that little square bus pulling up in front of your goddamn house. My little son don't know shit what happened. I don't know what happened. What are you, stupid? That's something I guess I am. I don't know what happened. And now he's playing the flute at school. The flute is the gayest goddamn instrument ever. The flute is the soundtrack for an ass whooping. That's the fucking flute is. I'm come to see you play no goddamn flute. I know it fuck up the image, it fuck up my image, shit. Kids go to the doctor for everything. We was growing up, you could break your neck, you wasn't going to the doctor. Your mother get mad, you done broke your goddamn neck, huh? Lay down and take a nap. I know it hurt a hard head, make a soft ass, now lay your broke neck ass down. You don't believe fat meat greasy, do you? I remember I was eight years old, I told my father I couldn't sleep. This motherfucker gave me one of his high blood pressure pills. For three days, I'm drifting off into a goddamn coma. <laughs> Being too strong, Daddy. I didn't want to sleep forever. <laughs> you trying to kill a motherfucker, I'm thinking. Who are you, Dr. Kevorkian? <laughs> and I see Sally Struthers on cable TV telling me you can feed a child for 51 cents a day. Where the fuck them kids at? Shit. I'll take three, four dozen of them little motherfuckers. I'm I don't want to see my, my wife. I got a 15 year old, a 13 year old, 11 year old. Been married for 16 years. Now my wife want to adopt some kids. Ain't that a bitch? I, I just start liking these motherfuckers. What the fuck? And I only like them because they mine, and I know because I got them tested. Fuck that shit. Come on, let's run down to the doctor. Make sure your mom been telling the truth all this time. Where we going, Daddy? Don't call me that till the results come back. Shit. What should we call you? Call me the man fucking with your mama. Now get in the car. Come on, now shit. They think you got to do shit for them. That's what pissed me off. You got to do it. No matter what you do, they don't be happy. Ah, 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 ah. What's wrong? Ah, ah, ah. I don't like the motherfuckers. I don't. Hey, man. Growing out of fucking clothes. How did, we didn't grow out of shit when we was growing up. Because they bought you shit you couldn't grow out of. Three years old with them goddamn grown man jeans on. They got to cuff them up 74 times. You grow a little bit, they uncouple them. Then you got them fucking white lines down your leg. Everybody can tell how old your ass is. 
You 15, huh? Ain't you 15? How the fuck you know I was 15? We had grown up had three kind of clothes. School clothes, church clothes, play clothes. You got home from school, had to put in your play clothes, but you couldn't play them, because they were just tight ass old school clothes. <laughs> Come here, I can't bend my leg. Somebody gonna need to let the him out. My wife get mad at me, talking about, you cuss too much in front of the kids. Cussing paid for this goddamn house. That's the fuck happened. Them kids going to college because I can cuss, goddammit. I think kids should learn how to cuss. That'll stop them from getting kidnapped. You hear me? You be in the mall, you hear somebody shout out, I don't know this motherfucker! You go and leave, turn around. God damn, that little bastard show. <laughs> he sure do talk bad. I remember we was growing up, white folk was a male, man. You got your mail early in the motherfucker, didn't you, boy? You woke up, your mail was there. They let black folk in the post office. You don't get your mail till dark sometimes. <laughs> you be on your way to a club. Here go your mail, player. Motherfucker, it's dark outside. I had shit to do. You ain't the only motherfucker on my route. They don't know how good they got it, man. They talking about how good a job this George Bush doing. I don't get it, man. The deficit is fucked up. Economy is fucked up. If I get laid off, nuclear war about to break. Pakistan and India about to go to war. The two brokest fucking motherfuckers in the whole world. They ain't got, they ain't got, ain't, can't feed nobody, but they can blow some shit up. Who gon', who gon' have the strength to mash the goddamn button? Load them up. I would, Sahib, but I am so hungry. Please, I would. <laughs> I want a sandwich or something, please, Sahib, because I know the cow is sacred, but a happy meal would be so nice, please, please, I would. People fucking around over there in Pakistan, all these reporters from the Wall Street Journal going there and fucking around in Pakistan, see black folk know when the fuck to stay out of shit. You ain't seen nobody from Ebony or Essence, nowhere in the motherfucker. We do not fuck around. I want to leave this country. I'll just go to Mississippi. Fuck that shit. This black folk in Mississippi don't even know they're free. You better not be reading like that, then. They don't like it when you're too smart. Taking people hostage and all that shit. You better not do that to black folk. You will never get your fucking money. I had no son. He will not come home unless we have three million dollars. <laughs> three million dollars. Put him on the phone. I told you about fucking around with them people, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? You don't believe you sat me greasy over there acting all light skin, huh? Now your ass in the twist, ain't you? Look, I don't even get paid to the 15th. See if I can look, put a little something on your ass. <laughs> well, I'm going to put your mama on the phone. I'm sure she want to say bye. Erlene, hurry up. That's a long distance call now. The boy calling from Pakistan. We just different, man. We do different shit. Like white folks talk shit to the police. You ever see them do that shit? Hurry up and write the goddamn tickets, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking pig. Give me a bad number. That shit do not work for black folks, do it? Give me a bad number. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I know my rights. And then right at the end of your night stick. Oh no, black folk got a whole different relationship with the police, don't we? You ever had the police behind you so long you get suspicious of your goddamn self? Well, maybe I did kill them motherfuckers. I'm I'm going to go ahead and turn myself in. I guess, they, I guess they do know what they're talking about. Shit. We don't fuck around like that, man. White folks don't know when to leave a building. They don't know when shit is bad. Like, some men black folks, we can just tell when a motherfucker crazy, can't we? Look at this motherfucker right here. I'm going to stand next to the time clock. Fuck this shit. You shoot this place up, I'm going to be in the parking lot on time and a half. I knew something was wrong. My knee hurting like a motherfucker. 
White folks just don't get it. You could walk in with a shotgun. What are you doing in here with that shotgun? This is the post office. Pa- Black folk be outside. Fuck my car! Oh, Lord, they done killed the supervisor. Hey, I'm going to apply for the position tomorrow. Shit. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. We, even the way that we deal with the weather is different. Like, white folk cannot take the heat. You're, oh, Lord, I'm hot. It's sweltering. Hurts is sweltering? I don't even know what the fuck that means. But if it means hot in the motherfucker, then I ex- I am so hot at sweltering. Black folk, we can handle the heat because we grew up with no air conditioning. Mama's going to be hot today. Well, what in that clothes and drapes? Why? So the heat don't think nobody home? <laughs> Your hot cousin moving around and sit still. What kind of fucking plan is that? We can't handle the cold. Cold fuck us up, don't it? You ever smile and the cold slits your lip right down the middle? <laughs> Motherfucker, shit. I knew I shouldn't have been laughing. Fuck around with you. Shit. You can't never put enough lotion on your hands when it get real cold. Hands be ashy in the motherfucker. You look like an usher. <laughs> your seat right there, player. Go ahead on. Too. It can be too cold for black folks to go to work sometimes, can't it? Get up in the morning, touch that window up. Oh, fuck that shit, eh? Ooh, they'll see me in the spring. Ooh, I'm using them sick days. <laughs> White folk never get cold. They'll go to a football game outside with just paint on. Yeah! It's brisk. I'm just brisk. Black folk be cold all the fucking time. I don't even watch the weather no more. I just look out my window and see if I see white folk wearing jackets. This motherfucker got a coat on. We can't go outside. <laughs> She's wearing a hat, too. Let's move. Even the way we poor is different. Like, white folk poor ain't living trailer home. We poor, we live in the project. Because you can't get no brother in the house you can drive away in. <laughs> Not if you want your rent money, huh? <laughs> Where's my money? I spend it on gas. I guess there's some advantages to having your house on wheels. Like if your kitchen catch on fire and the police department takes fire department taking too long to come, you can pull up in the driveway. You motherfuckers heard me call y'all. Now get in the kitchen, put my shit out. I got pork chops in there. Not that black folks don't do no crazy shit because we do. Everybody, OJ crazy ass. See, that black jury didn't let OJ go because they was racist. We let OJ go because we couldn't figure out how two motherfuckers got killed with one knife. You couldn't kill two black people with the same, in the same year with the same knife. <laughs> oh, my knee hurting. Some shit gonna happen. I see y'all in. Fuck, you kill two people in the middle of the night, don't nobody hear shit. You pull a knife on a brother, you hear him all the way to Egypt, won't you? Ah! He got a knife! White folk got too quiet. Make some noise. Let a motherfucker know you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't want to wake my neighbors up. Shit. I am sweltering. Aren't you sweltering? This motherfucker down in New York seven years ago shot all them people up on the subway. Then stupid enough to try to defend his own goddamn self. You see him cross-examining people, uh, how come you said I shot you? <laughs> because you did? No further questions, Your Honor. The bitch line, I ain't shot her. No good and goddamn well, I ain't shot that woman. Goddamn well, I ain't shot that woman. Yeah, Mike Tyson, boy, rough year, man. That motherfucker was talking a lot of shit. I love Mike. I wanted him to win. I thought he was, and so did he. He got a ass whooping. You know that you got your ass whooped when after the fight you become a nice guy. I got some blood on your face. some blood on your face. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get blood on your face. I love the Nixon's mother. I love the kid. You were going to eat the kid. I wasn't going to eat his kid. 
That's bullshit. I wasn't gonna eat a kid. See, I wanted him to win, because whenever society don't want something, I want it. I wanted him to fucking win. But he didn't. I don't give a fuck how bad you are. Somebody out there that can put their foot in your ass. You can just hope you never in the same room at the same goddamn time. Now, Vegas made me mad, because they, they didn't want to let Mike Tyson fight there. You can do anything in Vegas. Vegas is this side of hell. You can gamble, you can drink all night, you can buy a hoe. Nah, the, I ain't never bought no hoe. She was just a nice girl. And they asked me for five hundred dollars so I could tell her about my problem, but they ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> Mike Tyson almost fucked up twenty million dollars. For twenty million dollars, I'm fighting Mike. Of course, you better go shopping first, cause you ain't gonna recognize none of that shit after the fight. I was in here yesterday. I bought the Rolex. My arms don't work anymore. Can you put it on my ear? Bling, bling. <laughs> we do different shit. I was down in Amsterdam. Anybody ever been to Amsterdam? You can smoke weed in Amsterdam. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke weed, but I was down there, and you know. It, it's against the law not to smoke it, so I don't want to be breaking the law over nobody else's country, so you know. Ooh, I fucked around and smoked some hash. Don't ever do that shit. That shit is too, I, I was high for eight hours. Fuck that. I can't think of shit I want to do for eight hours. It ain't that high, that's a job. God damn. When are we going on break? It's some bullshit. I, I need a five or something. God damn. You know you high when you start crying. I don't want to be high anymore. <laughs> Please, Jesus, I want to come down. I can't, I can't stay up here. Taught me some of the war on drugs in this country is bullshit. We're not trying to stop nobody with a boat or a plane from coming to this motherfucker. We don't really want to stop that. But a dude get caught with a nickel bag, he's going to spend the rest of his fucking life in jail. That's what I don't get. Why are we drug testing everybody? Drug testing people with lives in their hand, bus drivers, airplanes, pilots, doctors. What the fuck are we drug testing the janitor for? What's the worst he going to do? Drop the mop? I done dropped the goddamn mop. Shit. If you're 39 years old and you're a janitor, you should get to smoke a joint. Shit. Help you cope with some shit. Matter of fact, the more fucked up the job you got, the harder the drug you should get to do. If you're a grown man working in a drive through at McDonald's, they should let your ass tie off somewhere. Hold on a minute, you gonna get your happy man, you little fucker. Wait a second, shit. Because alcohol is the worst shit going, and they get to sponsor sporting events. They do Budweiser, Johnny Walker, all that old bullshit. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of our presidents, senators, and congressmen. Eric President Ford, Betty Ford, his wife was such an alcoholic, they named a clinic after her. You know how much shit you got to drink for them to name a clinic after you? We was going to call this Johnny Walker place, Betty, but you done fucked us up. Shit. Alcohol is a motherfucker, and I know because I'm an alcoholic. I don't go to them meetings because I ain't anonymous. You yeah, ever been so fucked up you had to stop sign waiting for it to turn green? <laughs> I'm about to run this motherfucker, everybody. I'm like I ain't got shit else to do. This is some bullshit here. Drugs done fucked over somebody in every one of our family, man. Everybody got that one cousin been in jail for a long time, get out, wanna stay with you. You won't let him? Nah, look here, Junior, I got them kids and uh he ends up staying with your grandma, but she's scared to death of the motherfucker. Sneak on the phone, call you with the shit he's doing. It. That goddamn Junie done stole my VCR. Dirty motherfucker done took my VCR. What the fuck is a VCR? You know that old folk fuck up words so bad you don't understand the goddamn thing? Plug my icebox in for my meat being spur. Then you gotta rinse it off. Go rinse it off! Oh, Lord, I'm nausea. Ain't you nausea? I am nausea. What the fuck is nausea? What, what is that? We are different, though, man. We do. We that shit different. Like, white folk, even the dogs we pick is better. It's better. Well, like, white folk pick those little ass dogs. You're... What's that? That's my dog. He's so pretty. 
He's sweet now. Let's go get dogs with teeth. Shit they can fight. Rottweilers, pit bulls, German shepherds, some shit. Cause we live in a rough ass neighborhood sometimes. We need a motherfucker to keep people out of our backyard. We'll make a deal with it though. Look here, if a motherfucker get back here, you tear his ass up till I can get my shit. And if you don't, I'm saving one bullet for your ass. You understand? <laughs> You ever seen a homeless dude with a dog? That's the most pathetic shit ever. The dog, man, the motherfucker. I could have done this shit all by my goddamn self. This is the longest walk in the fucking world. White folks put their pets in the house when they get caught. If somebody really cold, remember to bring your animals in the house. Black folks don't give a fuck how cold it is. We wake up the next morning. You made it, huh, King? Man, I was sure worried about your ass. I started to get in for a check on you, but it was too cold to get out of there. What you mad at me for? You got a fur coat. I ain't got no goddamn fur coat. Selfish motherfucker. And Indianapolis got some beautiful women. Now nah, y'all do. Boy, I ain't bullshitting. You know what the problem with beautiful women is? They think that's their fucking job. They think that's all they got to do. Beautiful women think all they got to do is be beautiful. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Look at me. And pretty women can't cook with a goddamn, can't make shit but reservations. Hey, uh, girl, I'm hungry. Where you want to eat at? Uh, in the kitchen. <laughs> See that box with the stove coming out of it? That's a stove. We got fire coming out. Women can't. They do some bullshit, too. Well, they do. And every woman in here can find some man somewhere to help her with her bills. Every woman in here can find some man somewhere to help her with her bills. Some of y'all fine in a motherfucker. You gonna get Mercedes and diamonds. Some of y'all just gonna get a ride home from work. You got to be realistic with your options now. Women love a man. They can make them laugh. You can make a woman laugh. You can have any woman you want. Brothers, you mean sometimes. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. You never make me laugh anymore. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. Ha ha. Don't try that at home. I was just fucking around. Y'all be gay, hey, hey, officer, officer. I found out why it is we take so much bullshit from women, and that is just what it is. We tolerate so much bullshit, and I've done careful research. I've been married 16 years. I know why men put up with so much bullshit from women, and it is because pussy is just that good, goddammit. That's why. That's why. It's just, women know how good pussy is, because you got to make a deal to get it. I want you to buy me a car and pay my bills, and guess what? I'm going to give you some pussy. <laughs> All right, shit. What's in it for you? Pussy's so good they should put it on the stock market. Fuck that. That'll stop that recession because that's something to sell when cotton and corn won't, goddammit. That's one stock that'll never be down. How's your Enron down? How your pussy up like a motherfucker? Huh? I should get a lot more. It's an even match, because men love pussy and women love money, goddammit. They love it, love it, love it. Love it so much that they hate you if you ain't got it. You be a broke motherfucker. Women act like you done broke the guy. Look at this broke son of a bitch. Why does he even come outside being that broke? Take his broke ass home. Shit. Sprinkling broke all over the goddamn club. I don't know. I damn near slipped in some shit. The best pussy you ever get is before you get married. Because they're auditioning for the job. 